Tampa police attempted Thursday to serve an arrest warrant for former NFL player Antonio Brown on a misdemeanor battery charge related to an alleged domestic incident. Officers outside of a South Tampa residence tried for over an hour to get Brown to emerge, including by using a megaphone and knocking on the door, according to Tampa station WFTS. When he did not come out, they departed without serving the warrant. Police said they were not completely certain Brown was in the residence, for NBC News, and did not want to take any safety risks over a misdemeanor charge. The warrant stems from an episode Monday, for multiple media reports, involving police, Brown and a woman described as the mother of multiple children with him. The 34-year-old wide receiver allegedly threw a shoe toward the woman's head, striking her ponytail, and locked her out of a South Tampa residence after putting some of her belongings outside. Police said Brown also affixed an informal eviction notice to the door that was aimed at the woman, who was advised to take the children, also outside at the time, and stay elsewhere. Brown declined to emerge from the residence, police said, during that incident. On Tuesday, a judge denied a temporary risk protection order for Brown sought by police, who noted he had access to a pair of guns and stated, via WFTS, that Brown poses a significant danger of causing personal injury to him or herself or others in the near future. A spokesperson for Tampa Police did not immediately respond Thursday to a request for comment. Brown has been out of the NFL since January, when the Tampa Bay Buccaneers released him days before the final week of the regular season after he refused to re-enter a road game against the New York Jets. Brown had left the field shirtless after discarding the top half of his Bucs uniform mid-game. Brown subsequently claimed Tampa Bay was trying to force him to play through a serious ankle injury, which the Bucs disputed. The episode may have represented the final straw for Brown in the NFL after he was involved in a number of on and off field incidents while wearing out his welcome with multiple franchises, including the Pittsburgh Steelers, then Oakland Raiders and New England Patriots. The league gave Brown an eight-game suspension in 2020 for what it described as multiple violations of its personal conduct policy, amid an investigation into allegations of rape, sexual assault and sexual harassment made against him. At that time, Brown had also recently pleaded no contest to burglary and criminal mischief charges related to a physical altercation with a moving truck driver at his South Florida home. The following year, he was banned for three games after the league determined that Brown and a Bucks teammate had misrepresented their coronavirus vaccination status. After having been sentenced to two years probation in the case involving the truck driver, Brown was ordered last month to pay the man 